Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV current. I am Mori Rabila Lawal. First, the headlines. FG declares June 28th and June 29th as public holiday for Idil Kabir. FG to create 1 million digital jobs for young Nigerians, Shet Tima. NUC Executive Secretary Professor Rashid resigns from office. And to sport, Opala urged to use home based players versus Sao Tome. Now, the news in detail. The federal government on Monday declared Wednesday, June 28th, and Thursday, June 29th, as Ilo Kabir holidays. Oluwatoyi Akilabe, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Interior, made the announcement in a signed statement. In the spirit of this special occasion, during which we commemorate the great virtues of obedience, sacrifice, and faith, as exemplified by Prophet Ibrahim, peace be unto him, Muslims, and indeed all Nigerians are enjoined to make sacrifices for the growth and development of our community and our great country, Nigeria. The statement reads, Akinade expressed hope that the prayers and sacrifices that come with this great occasion and celebration will bring about peace, unity, and progress in the country. Vice President Kashim Shetima says President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu led administration plans to create 1 million jobs in the digital world. Shetima stated this on Monday when he received a delegation from the Republic of Korea led by the special envoy to the president, H.E. Jang Sung Min, at the presidential villa. 75% of Nigerians are below the age of 35, so we are soliciting your partnership and support in digital skills training for our young people. We want to create 1 million jobs in the digital world. India earned 120 billion US dollar last year from global outsourcing and we are in a unique position to take advantage of the opportunities in the sector. We need the skill set, we need the technology to drive the process and jobs, and yours is a technology that we can embrace, he said. The Vice President also used the opportunity to reaffirm Nigeria's commitment to strengthening relations with the Korea Republic especially in promoting trade, technology transfer, and maintaining global peace. In a statement issued on Monday by Olushola Abiola, the Director of Information Office of the Vice President, Shetima, affirmed Nigeria and Korea have a robust bilateral relationship anchored on years of mutual trust and cooperation. We are fully committed to a very robust relationship between our nations. We need to learn a lot from Korea, especially in the area of manufacturing and agriculture. You are a success story worthy of emulation by all developing nations, Shetima added. Moving on to the next story. The Executive Secretary of the National University Commission, NUC, Professor Abubakar Rashid, has announced his resignation from the Commission. Mr. Rashid, who made the announcement during the approval of the Kogi State University Kaba in Abuja on Monday, said this would enable him to return to class as his primary assignment. He said he would continue his lecturing job at the Bayero University, Kanu, from where he was appointed after spending seven years in the commission. Mr. Rashid, a Nigerian academic, administrator and a professor of English, was vice-chancellor of Bayero University, Kanu, between 2010 and 2015, and assumed office as executive secretary of the commission in 2016. And to Kogi State. Over 50 filling stations have been sealed by the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority in Kogi State. They were sealed by the agency for operating without NMDPRA storage and sales licenses. The state coordinator of the commission, Ogbe Oritz Godwin, who disclosed this while briefing journalists in Lokoja on Monday said this is in line with federal government directive that marketers apply online and obtain their station's license in line with the guidelines as enshrined in the Petroleum Inspectorate Act. He entered that five of the filling stations sealed were under dispensing premium motor spirit, PMS popularly called petrol, to customers in Kogi State. Godwin noted that the filling stations were shut down after a surveillance exercise was carried out by the Commission's tax force teams on Monday. Some of the filling stations sealed for under dispensing fuel, according to Godwin, are IA Muye, located in Natako, 
Biodu and Associate Filling Station, Total Filling Station, Felele, Kalma Global Solutions along Ganaja Road, NNPC Mega Stations after Commissioners, Quarters, Ganaja Road and Nikko Filling Stations located in Phase 1, Lokoja. The State Coordinator of the Commission, while acknowledging the impact of the fuel subsidy removal on Nigerians, said the agency has discovered some sharp practices by petroleum marketers in the states, adding that anyone caught will be immediately sanctioned. From that story, we go to Osho State. A 27-year-old Oyelade Lukman has been arrested by personnel of the Osho and Montekun Corps for illegal possession of firearms. Oyelade, according to the Osho and Montekun Corps Commander Brigadier General Bashir Adewimbi, was arrested in Ajitola Nobi area, Ede Osho State. The statement revealed that he was apprehended in the middle of the night after a complaint was lodged against him by the resident of the area and the operative of Omotekun swung into action and arrested him with the firearms. The firearms found in his possession are two locally made rifles, one locally made revolver with loading capacity for seven rounds, cut to size barrel guns, and one locally made double barrel gun cut to size. And they will be also disclosed that during interrogation, the suspect confessed to perpetrating crimes and that the firearms were kept in his possession by Taye Fumbo, a notorious talk in Ede. The suspect has been handed over to the police for subsequent investigation. Moving on to the last story for the day. Former Nigeria international Silvanus Opala has urged Super Eagles coach Joseph Passero to use mainly home based players in the final game of the 2023 AFCON qualifier against Sao Tome and Principe. The Eagles have already secured the ticket to next year's AFCON after defeating Sivilo 3-2 on Mark Day 5 in Morovia, Liberia. Up next for the Eagles is an own game against bottom side Sao Tome and Principe in the final round of the games in September. Opala, after winner in 1980, urged the Portuguese coach to use the game to try out home base players only. I would like him to use them because I believe in them. There is no need to invite the main Super Eagles players whether the game will be played either home or away. With that sports story, we end today's national news from BGI TV Current. Before we go, some headlines. FG declares June 28-29 public holidays for Idil Kabir. FG to create 1 million digital jobs for young Nigerians, shared Tima. And on sports, Opala urged to use home egos against Sao Tome and Principe in the final African qualifying match for Super Eagles of Nigeria. For more updates of our broadcast on YouTube, our handle is BGITV Current. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell to like option all to access all of our broadcasts. Please like and follow the page. For other placements of your goods and services, coverage of events and functions, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen. I am Moriri Repila Lawal. Good afternoon.